This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Erev Rosh Hashanah, we're about to embark upon the Aser Simei Tshuva. What is our main focus? What should we be thinking about? What is our goal? Certainly Chayim, we all want life, we all want Parnasa, we all want health. But we need to think beyond that. What is the objective of all of it? There, we're, we're given some clues. We look at the main body of the Rosh Hashanah davening and we see the tefillah is for the rebuilding of the Beis Hamikdash, for all the world to recognize the Malchios of Hashem, for Hashem to bring His Shechina back to Tzion, for the Tzadikim to exalt in Yerushalayim. Another clue given is immediately after Rosh Hashanah, we fast Soim Gedalia, which is in commemoration of the last coal, the last ember that was extinguished with the Chorban Beis Hamikdash. So on the one hand, we're doing tshuva, and on the other hand, we're mourning Chorim Beis Hamikdash, we're yearning for the Beis Hamikdash. And yet another clue, in the Shabbos, right before Rosh Hashanah, we're still reading the Shiva de Nechemta, we're being consoled over the destruction of the Beis Hamikdash. The answer lies in the words of the Rambam. The Rambam tells us, Ha'ein Yisrael negalem ela betshuva. Tshuva will bring the Geula. The objective of tshuva transcends a, any individual's health, family, parnasa, it is the objective is to restore the Shechina to Shalayim and rebuild the base Hamikdash. We lost all of that on Tisha B'av. We had three weeks of punishment, seven weeks of consolation that end now, and now we work on rebuilding it. Melech al kala aretz, mekadesh Yisrael v'yayim hazikarayim. Says the Chida in the Midbar Kedemais. Rosh Hashanah, Aser Simei Tshuva, Yom Kippur. The Iker Tshuva during these days is we should uh, repent for our sins and cry over the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash and the Chilol Hashem that because of our sins it prevents the Geula. The purpose of Tshuva is not that Hashem should give us more Parnasa or give us more Nachas, the goal of the tshuva is to honor the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu through the restoration of the Shechina. The Chida says this is Marumas in the Pasuk. Hayishag Aryeh Bayar V'teraf Einloi says the Navi Amais Parakimam Pasuk Dalet. The Kadmoinim tell us, Aryeh refers to Elo Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur Hoshana Rabba. Hayishag Aryeh, you could cry out during the Yomim Noiroim, but it needs to be Bayar over the forest. The forest refers to the Mikdash, Mitzaunha, Bisteyar, the Pasuk says in Tehillim. All your, go- your entire focus should be Bayar over the Beis HaMikdash. The Chida brings the Drush of Rabbi Yosef of Pazna. Achim Yom, even if a person does tshuva on the day, Yom Kippur, O Yom or the two days, Rosh Hashanah, Lo Yukam, the Mikdash will still not be rebuilt, Ki if your goal is the Kesef and the Parnasa and the health and your own personal needs. The Mikdash will only be rebuilt, B'yoyim O Yom if our focus is that the Yiban Sham should restore his Shechina to Yitzioyim, so that the tzaddikim should see and exalt, and that the whole world should recognize the Malchus of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. May we be zoichen these ten days to recognize that all of our barakashas are lemancha elekim chayim. We ask Hashem for life for His sake, not for our sake. For His honor, not for our honor. May we be zoichen to see the Haromas, Karen, Hashchina, Hamikdash, V'Yisrael, V'mher V'yameinu, Aksiv 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 You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.